one other issue I guess you guys had back there, I guess at one point X Pack uh, defecated or something in Sable's bag or something. Well, you that's true. Homework. <laughs> Actually, funny thing, okay? Looking back now, it's hilarious, okay? When we decided that we were done with wrestling, um, the European tour was our last, that was it, we're done. We, we, we had plenty of money to live the rest of our lives. And we got in the, uh, the, the um, car to go back and I started smelling something. It's like, what is that smell? I mean, it's just like a dog defecated in the car. What, I'm like, what is going on here? And she's going, oh my gosh, what is that? And she opens her bag and she finds the poop. And it was like, oh, that's so disgusting. You know, it was like horrible. We, you know, we, we had to throw out the bags and everything, you know, it was just terrible. But we didn't know who did it at the time, you know, but it was like, it was the, the straw that broke the camel's back. It was like, we're done. We're out of here. We're never coming back, you know? And we quit. We quit the bit. Remember, I quit with a contract of three fifty a year, guaranteed, and signing bonus, merchandise, and everything else, right? So on top of three fifty, who knows how much money we could we could have made, you know? Um, three years left on my contract. I walked away and said, keep it. I don't even care. I'm done. And I quit. And, um, you know, my, my, my wife at the time, Sable, Rena, quit with me. And we just said, decided to move to Hollywood and she'd pursue a movie career. And, and, and that's what we did. But never knowing who was the one that um, defecated in her, in her bag. Uh, and then when it came out to that we did know it was X-Pac, it was, um, I don't know, it's hilarious to me now, you know. We, I've actually talked with him about it. It's like we have no animosity towards the guy. It was a funny rip when you really think about it. Well, I guess in the end it helped towards Sable's settlement too, probably. Well, that was a, another thing. You know, they're, they're, you know I, I can't really say anything about that, you know, but... It's probably a know, non-disclosure, I guess, whenever... Know, it is, but think about this. If it was such a great settlement, you know, no matter what, she wanted to go back. You know, and that was the biggest shock of my life at the time. Um, you know, she tried her hand at movies in, in L.A. And we even got an apartment we rented for a year out there, a beautiful apartment. And uh, um, and then she I remember one night she come to me. She goes, what would you think about me going back to wrestling? I, said, I was like dumbfounded, like shocked. Like, first of all, it wouldn't be safe because of all the, the lawsuit and the sexual harassment, all the things that were brought out that you can't go back to that place. And I said, Vince would never take you back. And she goes, well, I called him. I go, you called Vince? I didn't know about it. And she said that he would think about it. I was dumbfounded. And um, so once Vince agreed to bring her back, she had to go and apologize to all the top guys at the time, Undertaker and I can't remember who else she had apologized to, but that was part of her thing was going to apologize to some of these people. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.